Amazing new time zone and reality everyone, my name is Vel here at Science Away, and today is another art time lapse video. This one is a mod for a game called Staxel. Staxel is a very cute farming game with the voxel format. So voxels are like pixels, just 3D. So it's a 3D farming game and it's amazing. It's one of my favorite games of all time. And you can create mods for it. Mods are the same thing as add-ons, which are just things that add on to the game. So it adds more content to whatever the game may be, just like there's mods for Minecraft. So same thing, same thing for Staxel. So for this one, I was taking requests. This was back in March of 2018. I was taking requests for mod making and someone asks for a hair mod from a popular anime called Love I never know if it's Love Live or Love Live. I think it's Love Live. The School Idol Project. It's an anime and there's also a mobile game, I believe. So they wanted hair from some of the girls in the anime. I said I could only take five at the time, but because I took a year to complete this mod because I was busy with many things, I decided I would do all nine girls from the original group. There is another separate group that's another plus nine girls, which I will eventually do, just not at this time. But I said I'll do all nine hairstyles. I think I only have about, let's see, seven hairstyles recorded. Five of them I recorded at the time I was only doing five. And then later down the line, I recorded the last two and I forgot the other three. So <laughs> there's that. Well, technically there's only two, but either way. So yeah, this is a time lapse. I'm using Voxel Shop, which is free. Staxel is actually at the time I was making this hair mod, it was in early access, but Staxel is no longer in early access. So you can get it on Steam. Links will be in the description below for the mod and all of Staxel links. And I had a lot of fun creating some mod. I'd never created a hair mod for Staxel before. I created a food mod, which you can eat, but not craft. I created a terrarium and arium mod, which is just decoration, a birds mod. And that was pretty much it. I had just done three mods. So creating a hair mod was gonna be different because it requires layers. And I'm not gonna be going in too deep into the mod process of this, as in like, you know, how to make your own hair mod. This is just my process. But basically I needed this program to rename the layers to head, which is how Staxel reads them. So this is Honoka Kosaka. I hope I'm saying the name right. Next we have Kotori Minami. <laughs> Minami, I hope I'm saying that correctly. But with each one, I had to model it on a head just so I could get a base for how big it would be. With Voxel Shop, sometimes it doesn't always center things and I had a little bit of trouble exporting some of the models because of the bounding box and things weren't centered. So I spent a whole good couple of hours getting that fixed. And I kind of sped through some of these hairstyles. Some took maybe, I think the beginning two, so uh, this one and the one before took about maybe two hours because I was trying to get the hang of using layers in this program. I don't use this program too often. I use Magic of Voxel, but like I said, I needed layers for these to actually work for the game to read them. So I was getting to rest with that and then understanding how to transform these hairstyles into a not only a 3D format, but a voxel format because the anime is 2, 2D. It's not CGI. So... I was looking at some turnarounds of the different girls. It's like, okay, so that's the front, that's the side. You know, how would I make it look coherent? So it was pretty fun, but it was definitely a challenge, but a welcome challenge, welcomed challenge, excuse me. And don't mind the pausing. Sometimes I get up to go do certain things as in like, you know, eating and regular human stuff and helping my, my family with whatever they call me for. <laughs> But yeah, beforehand I had gathered all of the different girls, the front and side views, and I used a color picker. I believe it's called Colorzilla or Colorzillo. You can just search for it. It's a Google Chrome extension, but there are also several others. And I used this one to get the hex code of the different colors. You don't have to do this when you're making your mods for Staxel. You can do whatever you want, frankly. I could have made it to where the hairstyles use the Staxel default palettes, but I wanted it to be the colors of the actual style, the hairstyles in the anime. And I'm, I'm pretty sure 
the person who requested it wanted that too. So I was like, all right, so let's go color pick it and get the precise color. I could have eyeballed it, but me being the perfectionist I am, I want to make it precise. So I color picked it. And of course I had to open it in, what did I? Oh no, I didn't. So the one I use, Colorzilla or Zillow, it gives you the hex code. And I think it may give you RGB, I'm not entirely sure. But either way, I used the color picker in Voxel Shop and just pasted the hex code, which is very easy. In Magic Voxel, I have to manually type it because there is not hex code. So let's take the hex code, go to Krita, and put the hex code, and then transform it into RGB, and then take the RGB and put it into Magic Voxel. So it's a lot easier when Voxel Shop takes hex code, which is really nice. This is Nico Yazawa. I hope I'm saying these names correctly. <laughs> so for a lot of them, they had bangs, and they technically they would take a lot of strands to make the bangs. I only had a couple of voxels. I would say this is about a 32 by 32 by 32 voxel size. The bounding box is 48, but I'm really not using 48. I'm more so using 32, maybe even 16, just depends. So getting the bangs to work was a little bit of a hassle. It's like, okay, how do you make bangs that look like bangs, not just random strands of hair that you didn't bother combing? And you can see I have layers, so I don't just have floating heads, I also have layers with full bodies for the female body because I want to make sure that the hair strands and parts would not be going into the arm. That way when the player would have animations in game, if you're moving about, you know, it wouldn't look weird that the hair is just clipping through your arm, you know? So I want to make sure that not only did the hair not clip through the arm, there's also another race besides the human race. There is the elf race. So I want to make sure that the hair was also not blocking. If, for example, the character chose the elf race, the hair strands would not be blocking the ears because that would look pretty weird too. So I always had that in mind. And there was another race in stacks was called the Kaith mod, which is basically the, cat, not mod, <laughs> race, which is basically the cat race. And currently I do not have any of the hairstyles with that. Real quick, this is Ellie, Ellie Ayase. <laughs> I hope I'm saying that correct. But yeah, there's another race. It's the cat or Kaith race. And the reason I don't have any of the hairstyles on that is in Staxel, when you have it working with the elf and human race, all you have to do is just make sure your hair fits and it's in the correct bounding box and all that jazz. And boom, you can just select any other race. But the difference is the from the Kaith race to the human and elf race, when you choose a race, you're choosing a model. So you're choosing the model with the human head, you're choosing the model with the elf head and the body and all that. But with the Kaith race, you're choosing the, you're technically you are choosing the model of it, but the hairstyle is on the ears, if that makes sense. So if you go into the game files, which you don't have to, but basically if you go into the game files, the Kaith race has different hairstyles with the ears attached to it. So you're not choosing a Kate model, you're choosing a hairstyle with ears attached to it. So that's a separate model. So technically for every hairstyle, so there's nine, remember that, I have to make nine additional models with the ears on it. And frankly, I was not about to do that. It was already, it only took me a year to do this mod on and off, it took a long time. And frankly, I wanted the mod to just be done so the person who had been waiting for over a year and thank you so much to that person for waiting a year my goodness you are amazing i just wanted them to have the model ready and i could always add updates to it so i knew that eventually i would add updates not to mention there's different colors so in here everything's pretty much two-tone you get one color hair and if they have an accessory it's whatever the color of the accessory was so it's two colors this person didn't have an accessory this is maki nishikino and yeah, they don't have, they don't have an accessory. They just have straight hair. Well, not straight, but you know, it's there's no ponytails or anything. But because of that, I was not adding, you know, nine other models. So I knew I could add updates. So eventually, I will, at some point in the future, just like I will add the other nine girls and their hairstyles. And like I said, the cave had nine, not nine, three different colors, and I only grabbed two colors, or sometimes one for each girl. So I was like, all right, so I'll go grab the different shaded parts. And when I 
added them, it looked weird to me. I looked at how Staxel does. Uh, I looked at how Staxel did their coloring for their color palettes, you know, the red and the greens. And compared to mine, my colors were too defined. It wasn't blended smoothly is what it looked like to me. Of course, I don't have to follow it exactly. I could always make mine different, but I personally wanted to make it look like my hairstyle fit in with the Staxel world. It wasn't, you know, oh, this is a mod. It's, you know, hey, this hair happens to be in Staxel. Of course it is a mod, but I wanted, I didn't want it to feel like you knew you had a mod. It's just another hair option you had in Staxel. Like it fit, like it fit in. This hairstyle right here is one of the newer ones. Every one before that was pretty much all on the same day, if not the next two days, basically. So this is after a year when I picked it back up. This is Hanayo, yeah, Hanayo Koizumi. By the way, if you think I'm saying these names wrong, I'm pronouncing them based on how they technically would be pronounced in Japanese. If, for those who don't know, I'm teaching myself Japanese, and so far I have the pronunciations memorized for uh, Hiragana, which is the specific character set. So I'm pronouncing it based on that, not how we would say it in English. So you can see I tried to do the Kate ears, and I was looking at it, and I had even changed the color palette. You can see in the bottom right, I know the name's covering it a little bit, but you can tell I actually got some of the different colored parts. And I tried coloring everything based on how I thought it should be, like the different shaded parts, the highlighted parts. And I don't know, I just thought it looked weird. If you look at the stacks of ones, which I maybe I'll put a picture up here, but... Based on the Staxel coloration, I thought it didn't really fit. I thought maybe it stood out too much. Looking at it now, it doesn't look too bad, but I'm not sure if it would really work. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Do you think it would work? If so, technically it's a really easy fix. Yes, it's more files and coding to do, but it's really simple and easy, and eventually I'll do that. You know, it's on the to-do list. But, you know, if it looks good, then that's one thing off my list to do to go, you know, look at how to shade properly. <laughs> of course, I will you know, learn how to shade properly eventually. But what I mean is I won't try to spend hours trying to make them all blend and I'll just use the color palettes I gathered. This is Rin Hoshizora. Hoshizora. Something like that. Like I said, this is, let's see, so that's five and two. So there's about two other hairstyles I apparently did not record. That's somehow not right. There should be nine, but I know there's about like three others. Either way, hope you enjoyed it and you can check out the mod on the Steam Workshop. I'll see you later. Bye.